Vidushi, Dr. Yes Somya is one of the world's leading exponents of Carnatic South Indian classical tradition of vocal music. She is also a passionate promoter, practitioner of Tamil Isai, the Asian classical and folk music traditions of Tamil Nadu. Dr. Somya is a fine exponent of the Saraswati Veena, one of the world's oldest musical instruments. She is known for her path-breaking research work in enhancing the tonal stability of the Miri Dangam, the preeminent percussion instrument in South Indian music. She is currently the Vice Chancellor of the Tamil Nadu Dr. J. Jayalalitha Music and Fine Arts University and a visiting professor at the Music Academy Madras. She is the recipient of several prestigious awards and titles including the Madras Music Academy's Sangeeta Kalanidhi in 2019 and also received coveted award from the Tamil Isai Sangam in 2022. In addition to being an accomplished musician, Dr. Somya also has excellent academic credentials. She earned her PhD degree in 2012 from the University of Madras from her research work on the physical characteristics of Nidangam, a work that combine music and science. Holding master's degree in both chemistry and Indian music, she was a top ranked scholar at the Indian Institute of Technology Madras and the University of Madras. The Tamil Nadu Dr. J. Jayalalitha Music and Fine Arts University. Good evening, ma'am. Ma'am, we'll commence with the interview. Ma'am, being the Vice Chancellor of D. Tamil Nadu Dr. J. Jayalalitha Music and Fine Arts University, how do you strategize about the key programs and plans for the marketing and administration of your university? Namaste, everybody. Uh, it's such a pleasure to be interacting with all of you and to talk about our university, very unique university. Uh, I would say that it is, there are just three or four universities in the whole of India and uh, this is the only university in the south that has uh, visual arts, fine arts and performing arts under one roof. So, uh, the, uh, it's very easy because this is a very unique university. Uh, the, all we have to do is just uh, make the courses known uh, uh, to everybody. Basically, people know about a BA or an MA, perhaps a or PhD also in the areas of music and dance and fine arts. But people hardly know about the number of colleges that are affiliated to this university and not just in Chennai and metro cities, but all over Tamil Nadu. That is what we have to do at the Tamil Nadu. A uh, number of ways in which we are doing this uh, we are trying to bring in more uh, student-friendly uh, courses, diploma courses. There are the basic diploma courses in addition to that, a diploma, a PG diploma, such courses so that they will be more student-friendly and many people can, across different ages, can come and uh, make use of these courses. See, end of the day, uh, people when they are born, people start learning arts at a very young age, three, four, five and they go on till you know 60, 70 or even 80 at times. So we I would like to tell the people that arts is something you can pursue at any age. One important thing is that our university is the only one which doesn't have an upper age limit for BA to join. This is very important. So we don't say you know, you have to 25 or 26 and then before that you have to join. So that, that compulsion is not there. Anybody who is interested in pursuing a PA in music, music related instruments uh, can come and join the PA. Great thoughts on the first question, ma'am. Ma'am, the next question is How does the curriculum of the Tamil Nadu daughter J. J. Lalitha Music and Fine Arts University ensure the best practice of industry? Yeah, as I was mentioning in my previous uh, answer, uh, we have introduced a lot of new courses. We are planning to introduce more courses in the forthcoming academic year. That is not the only thing. Even in the regular BA and MA uh, syllabus curriculum, uh, I am planning to introduce quite a lot of electives that will be very useful for the students. It's, instead of it being just the stereotypical um, you know, syllabus uh, that you find elsewhere, 
we are planning to introduce a lot of electives that will be uh, the lesson student friendly, something like you know, for the vocal students they can learn about the voice, voice production, and maybe the health of the voice, something like that. And then perhaps music composing. Because when we say Indian music, it is not just the classical music. We are also looking at folk music, western music, uh, then music composing, because that is very important these days. A lot of independent musicians coming up with their own albums and so on. So, how, would one, how does one go about composing music? That is one thing. Then, audio uh, engineering, I would call it music engineering. That is another course that we are bringing in. So, there are so many courses that you know we would like this. Uh, instead of making them courses, in, include them in the uh, syllabus, regular curriculum as elective. That is one thing we are thinking about. And we also have a lot of off campus institutions. These institutions are going to offer many interesting certificate and diploma courses. Ma'am, great thoughts on the previous question. So ma'am, the next question is, any insights into how your university could be more welcoming to students of different races or economic backgrounds? First of all, this is a government college, government university, government supported university. So almost all the students that are already studying here are from different backgrounds and certainly from economically uh, weaker backgrounds and uh, there's no restriction on whatever discrimination, gender, caste, uh, whatever you want to call it. We have a lot of students, in fact we are also admitting a lot of students who are also differently able. So that way we are really welcoming because arts is free for everyone, it is for everyone. We believe in this philosophy, this university is already following that and we are really going to be more open to all these things. Ma'am, the next question is, your thoughts on the current generation preferring music as their main streamline over generic courses such as medical, engineering and liberal arts? See, I myself have an example. Even though I started singing and learning music at a very young age, about three years or so, I did end up going to the BSc chemistry and an MSc from IIT Madras. But somewhere down the line, you know, that thing like, okay, why not we do something that is our passion? Is our calling. So, if that is the case with me, I have also seen so many other people, you know, my own friends who are doctors, perhaps engineers, lawyers, or any professional or any other uh, field. I have heard them say, I should have probably learned, I should have you know, probably learned art, how much I enjoy. And there are so many people who shift to these. And these days, there are so many avenues for arts. It's not just related to relegated, I would say, to this stage performance or teaching. Today, there are so many uh, hybrid areas wherein you can have a lot of collaborations. Like, you can have collaborations with the medical industry, wherein you talk of morphology and then audiometry, where somebody with a music knowledge would be a better candidate, better technician, than perhaps somebody who has no uh, music knowledge. I'm saying a technician not a doctor, but somebody who can just also get a little uh, understanding of the ways. Then, as I said, the, the digital boom is so much that today you need digital sound engineers. For gaming, you need music. Something else, you need music. For everything, every uh, area, you need art and uh, fine arts. For advertising, for gaming, for whatever animation, movies, everything. So that is the response for our student. So Ma'am, the next question is, what do you think should be the Tamil Nadu Dr. J. Jayalalitha of Music and Fine Arts University's top priority over the next 10 years? The uh, university itself is still not very well. People know about the individual colleges, like the Garden Music Colleges, generally. Here they are, very good. Uh, Madurai and from the fine arts colleges, the sculpture college, but people are still not aware of the university. So our idea is to have a research center where a lot of students at that research level, a PhD level, will come in, and not just a PhD or research in music or dance or fine arts, but a lot of, as I said, uh, uh, interdisciplinary areas like archaeology, linguistics with arts, 
So that way, we will have more students coming, and it will become more global because we can have people from different countries also coming and learning the culture. That is one thing, and then I definitely propose to bring in uh, or collaborate with other institutions, medical institutions, as I mentioned earlier, for uh, medical related music, and then with uh, the film industry which we already have like the film industry for music production and so many other things, and then with other Hindustani uh, inst music uh, institutions where we can have our students going there and their students coming here. So that kind of an exchange program, a cultural exchange and so on. And definitely give our students a lot of opportunity to listen to concerts, performances and also perform. And already we are doing that. We are actually also also trying to have tie ups with people like K and the celebrities, like Sri A R and Man. They've already had an opportunity to perform for K. We are looking for more such things, more performance for K and the and a lot of campus placements as well. Ma'am, the next question is what would you like people to know about your university that they may not know? I would like the people to know that this is a whole big umbrella under which all the arts are confluencing. This is very important that we have a uniform syllabus, uniform structure. I would like more people to come and affiliate themselves as health and health psychologists or as off campus institutions because the, the subjects, the, the areas that we offer. For affiliation, like certificate or diploma in different areas is enormous. And we are very open and welcoming to all these people to come, all over Tamil Nadu, to come and join us. And we also are very open to having MOUs, Memorandum of Understanding, uh, Memorandum of uh, whatever you want to call it, contract, or so many things are there, with so many other institutions. I would like everyone to understand and appreciate that this is a whole you know, big umbrella where. All the arts are having a nice confluence here, performing, visually, and arts. So uh, the thing is that we are very open to a lot of people coming and affiliating themselves. Because areas that we offer for affiliation, like certificate or diploma courses, advanced certification, advanced diploma courses, uh, in, in different areas, like different instruments, western instruments, civil instruments, folk arts, similarly painting, visual communication, photography. All of this is available uh, as, as off-campus institutions or as self financing colleges we have here. And uh, yeah, with our research center that we do, we are open to a lot of research projects where we can have a wonderful conversation with other uh, experts from other areas as well. That will relate their area in music. And uh, the other thing is, we are planning to bring in a lot of courses, a lot of student related oriented courses, practical oriented courses that will fetch a lot of environment opportunities for the students. So I would like the students also to enroll themselves. One thing that everyone has to know is arts has a great future. So the parents and students should understand that arts is not a taboo anymore. It's highly paid, let me tell you, paid. Some great thoughts, ma'am. My last and final question. What do you see as the Tamil Nadu Dr. J. Jayalalitha Music and Fine Arts University's greatest strengths? One big thing is the government support. This being a government institution, university, and the chief minister himself being the chancellor, and uh, being in Chennai, and the hub of you know, arts. So all this is a huge strength for us. The government goes out of the way to support all the initiatives here. Um, whatever it is, new courses, grants, whatever it is, we get huge support and they are extremely inspiring also. Very encouraging in those terms. Uh, the other thing is, uh, as, as I said, the, the fact that we are located in China, which is a center for all arts, that way we are very blessed uh, because we have the best of performing world, the best of institutions, the best of education, the best of resources, everything available here, except the heat perhaps, but we are not here. The other great strength is the fact that we have the Directorate of Art and Culture, who is really very supportive 
uh, and the faculty and the students themselves who come in large numbers and uh, who are joining the courses. Ma'am, uh, this opportunity. Thank you very much for this. Uh, thank you so much for your time, ma'am. I hope uh, Tamil Nadu Music University uh, goes on to the next level. I hope uh, College of India will also be providing uh, good support to the university, ma'am. Thank you.